Believe it or not, mattress manufacturing is big business and it has blown up over the last decade with the amount of bed in a box brands that have popped up that will drop off a mattress at your doorstep without you having to step foot inside a mattress store. The fact of the matter is this business is absolutely crazy and a lot of these brands are really tight-lipped about their manufacturing process which makes it really tough for us as consumers to find out who's actually making their stuff in the U.S., who's making it abroad, and who's just assembling here with imported materials. So I'm breaking it all down as best I can in today's video based on the research that me and the team have done over the past several years. And of course, we've also written about these subjects before. So links to all of that mattress research in the description below on allamerican.org. So like I alluded to earlier, those nearly 200 online mattress companies, a bunch of them are not even making their own beds. They're outsourcing, not just the material sourcing, which is pretty common, but also the final assembly and pretty much every single part of the manufacturing process to a really central group of manufacturers that really handle a lot of the manu mattress manufacturing that happens in the US. So the one online brand that has some really pretty marketing and the other one that you're deciding between probably are sourcing a lot of the same materials from the exact same suppliers. So who are those suppliers? When it comes to mattresses, there's a few core components. You have your foam, you have your textiles that are going to make up primarily your cover, and then you also have springs, which some mattresses don't have, but if you're going for like a hybrid or an inner spring option, you'll have some metal coils in the mattress as well. Foam is gonna make up the majority of a lot of these online mattress brands, as well as the more traditional ones as well, with different support layers throughout the mattress. And the best source for finding a lot of these raw material manufacturers, in my opinion, is going to the Serta Pure US Foam website. They have a directory of Serta Pure US certified foam producers by country on their website. So there are a bunch of manufacturers that make Serta Pure US foam outside the US, but there's also obviously a lot of US manufacturers who pour their own fo foam in the States and they have all of those manufacturers listed in that directory. Some of the most popular foam suppliers that are supplying foam for a lot of the mattress brands that you're going to buy from are folks like Future Foam and FXI. You also have companies like Cinemax that are splitting their manufacturing between multiple countries. So they seem to be doing a lot of stuff in the US, but also a lot of stuff abroad. So just because somebody is getting their foam from a company like Cinemax doesn't necessarily mean that that foam is poured in the US. And then outside of foam, there are a lot of other core manufacturers that are the main suppliers for a lot of these mattress brands. Folks like Jeffco Fibers and Imperial Bedding are examples of two manufacturers that do a lot of textile manufacturing for things like covers and other components of the mattress. And then you also have companies like Bedding Industries of America, which is the primary manufacturer for a specific mattress brand that I'll cover in just a minute, and Leggett and Platt, another big manufacturer that is the primary supplier of a lot of raw materials that are going into these different mattresses for all of these brands. So that's a little overview of the raw material supplies. Hopefully that's a little helpful to give you some context around the mattress manufacturing industry. Now what I want to do is go through some of the mattress manufacturers that you're actually going to buy from and purchase your mattress from that own their own manufacturing facilities and separate those from some of the brands that are doing manufacturing in the US but outsourcing all of it to other companies like the manufacturers that I just mentioned. And then the third category of folks that are just not doing any or only some manufacturing in the US and outsourcing all of it. So who owns their own factory? The first brand I want to start with here is Bed in a Box. These folks are based in Mount Airy, North Carolina, and you may remember them from my recent video on the All-American Bedroom, where I furnished my entire guest bedroom with 100% made in the USA products. They merged with a large foam manufacturer in 2018 and have complete control over their entire manufacturing process. So they're doing everything from foam pouring to assembly of the rest of the materials to assembly of the final mattress, 
all under one roof, which also includes their customer service, marketing, and everything else. So everybody is all in one space, which creates great communication across the entire manufacturing process. Personally, a really big fan of the folks at Bed and Box after talking with them extensively. They're just really transparent about their manufacturing process and really care about American manufacturing. And that's really refreshing in today's day and age, and especially the mattress industry. But there are also a lot of other mattress brands that own their own factories in the US. And the next one I wanna cover is DLX Mattress. These folks are based in Jamestown, New York, and are a family owned and operated mattress manufacturer. So you're gonna get a factory direct mattress, mostly inner spring and hybrid models. So if you want more support, DLX mattresses are one to look into, but they're a great manufacturer that has control over a lot of their manufacturing process. Now I mentioned earlier in the video that there's a lot of different parent companies that have a bunch of brands that you see when you're shopping for a mattress online underneath their portfolio and one that owns their own manufacturing facility but has a lot of different brands in their portfolio is a company called 3z brands 3z brands owns helix brooklyn bedding bear birch nola and lisa mattress They've acquired all of these companies over the years and pretty much all of the manufacturing happens at their master manufacturing facility in Phoenix, Arizona. Now there's gonna be some slight differences in the types of materials that they use and maybe some of the construction process among these mattresses. So still do your comparison shopping if you're looking at any of those brands, but just know that they're owned by the exact same parent company, but they are doing and owning a lot of their manufacturing process in the US. All right, time for a couple of the big boys. Certus Simmons and Temper Sealy International both have manufacturing presences in the US. Serta Simmons has been around for over 150 years, I think, and they own the brands Serta, Simmons, Beautyrest, and Tuft & Needle. But they operate in about 12 or 13 different US states, so you should be able to find a good mattress from those guys that's made in the US. And then Temper Sealy International, they own Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Stearns and & Foster. They also own Bassett, but that's more of a furniture brand. Just to note, some of their bed bases are not made here, but a lot of their mattress manufacturing happens in the US. All right, moving right along, next up we have Purple. These guys have three different manufacturing locations across the US, two in Utah and one in Georgia. You may recognize Purple from a lot of their kitschy commercials or if you've ever laid on one, just the weird feel of their mattresses. I've only laid on a Purple mattress once, but it was quite an experience <laughs> the one time that I did it. They're certainly unique beds and they go into a lot of the technology behind the materials that they use and things like that. So check them out if you're interested in those types of beds. They're a bit more expensive, but they do have a lot of manufacturing in the US. And then one more to call out in this video that owns their manufacturing facility is Plush Beds. They operate out of a 80,000 square foot facility in Camarillo, California. They source some raw materials from different suppliers like some of the brands that I mentioned earlier in the video, but they're doing all of their assembly at their own facility. All right, so now let's get to the second group of mattress brands, which is the folks that are making a lot of their stuff in the US, but they're outsourcing pretty much the entire process from material sourcing all the way to final assembly. The first brand to mention in this category is Sattva. According to our research, about 85% of the raw materials that go into Sattva mattresses are sourced from US suppliers, and the remaining 15% are not negligible parts of the mattress, but really the primary components that go into a software mattress are US sourced. Now, since their inception, their primary manufacturing partner is Bedding Industries of America, which they actually merged with in 2023. So if you're buying a Sapa mattress, you're basically buying it from their manufacturer, Bedding Industries of America, which is now the same company. All right, next up in this category is Nest Bedding. These guys are a great brand in my opinion. They source a lot of their materials from US suppliers and they actually merged with Brooklyn Bedding in 2017 according to our research and have a lot of their manufacturing in Brooklyn Bedding's facility, which is again part of that big 3Z brand portfolio out in Arizona. Moving right along, next up in this category is Aslan Mattress. Now these guys are family owned and operated and are outsourcing pretty much their entire operation, but it's all to US suppliers. 
And the same goes for Ghostbed. They are owned by a company called Nature Sleep. They outsource pretty much all of their production to manufacturers in the US and unfortunately also Canada. And then a few others to call out in this category, Wink Beds, they are partnered with a Wisconsin-based manufacturer called Symbol Mattress, which was acquired by Corsicana Mattress in 2021. Molecule Mattress also outsources their entire manufacturing process. A lot of the foam comes from US suppliers, but unfortunately the covers are imported, I believe, from China. And then a couple more brands that are doing a lot of stuff in the US that are doing assembly in Indiana is Amerisleep and Layla. Now one note on Layla, they occasionally outsource some of their cut and sew fabric work to El Salvador and Mexico when order volume is high, but a lot of their raw materials are from US suppliers and they're doing a lot of their assembly and stitching and everything in Indiana and Illinois. All right, one brand that y'all are probably waiting for me to mention is Casper. These folks might be one of the most notorious bed in a box brands, and they are also probably one of the most tight-lipped in terms of their manufacturing process. According to our research, some materials are sourced here, and they also import a few materials from overseas, and the same goes for assembly, some happening in the US, some not happening in the US, which is basically the level of detail that we could get after honestly hours on the phone with their team but they do have a lot of known manufacturing partners that are part of kind of that core group that i mentioned at the start of the video so folks like cinemax jeffco fibers fxi future foam folks like that they definitely partner with based on the research that we've done at some point or another but like i mentioned with cinemax earlier not all of their manufacturing is done in the US. Some is done in the US, some done abroad. So them kind of waffling on the country of origin for parts of the process or certain materials kind of makes sense based on who they're getting their materials from. All right, let's finally move on to the mattress manufacturers that are not made in the USA. And first up is pretty much every brand underneath the Resident portfolio. Now, Resident is a big portfolio parent company similar to 3Z Brands, although 3Z is actually doing manufacturing in the US. Resident has brands like Nectar and Dreamcloud that are made a lot made in China and other countries. In fact, Nectar actually got sued by the FTC back in 2018 for false made in the USA claims. And the same goes for Dreamcloud in 2021, again, sued by the FTC for false claims on Made in the USA advertising. So honestly, their entire portfolio of brands is one that I would generally avoid. I already mentioned Casper, they're kind of hit or miss, honestly, so I think you'd be better off going with a few other brands that I mentioned earlier in the video, and then a couple more brands to cover for stuff that's not made here. One in particular that you'll see a lot on Amazon is Zynus. These are the super cheap mattresses that you're going to find on Amazon. It's actually a South Korean company, and most of their manufacturing is done overseas. They do have some manufacturing, it looks like in one facility in McDonough, Georgia, but the vast majority of their mattresses are made in China and other countries. And then two more brands to stay away from are Lucid and Linen Spa. Now these are two, again, cheap mattress brands that you're going to find all over Amazon and other third-party retailers, but pretty much all of their stuff is made in China, so I would generally avoid them. All right, y'all, I know that was a lot of info, but I appreciate you sticking with me till the end of the video. Please let me know in the comments below if y'all have any questions about these brands or others that you're looking at, or just about the mattress industry in general. But hopefully this video has been a good demystification of mattress manufacturing and where a lot of these brands are actually made. So make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.